Hey everybody, this is Greg, and I'm here to show you a really helpful new feature in Google Docs and Google Drives and Google Slides called the Preview. And the way I envision this becoming really helpful is with the ability now to have a Google Doc open, and then a student can have a preview of a set of Google Slides, and they can actually watch a video live in the Google Slides in a little preview window while they're working in the Google Doc. So let me show you what this is going to look like. I'll get this set up for us right now. So the first process here, I'm in the Google Doc. This is where the students are going to be doing the most, most of their work. I'm actually going to jump to YouTube right I'm now. Green, this is Crash Course US History, and today we're going to talk about a topic. Here we are on YouTube, and there's my John Green Crash Course video that we're going to use. So I'm going to grab the URL of that video, head over to a set of Google Slides. And the reason why I'm doing this is I'm actually going to put the video in Google Slides because Google supports that capacity. And then this video is going to act as the viewing experience over in the Google Doc. And I'll show you what I mean. I'll do insert video and drop in that URL that I already grabbed over on YouTube. There's the URL. Get that out of the way. And let's drop that video in. So now that video is going to add into the Google Slides. Once that populates, I'll just name this Crash Course World War II so I can find it easily in a second. Make that a little bit bigger, open this up. Now what I could always do, of course, is like this is a 13 minute video. I could even break this into chunks if I wanted to, and that could be broken out in that student preview experience. I can demo that right now. I'm gonna duplicate this slide, and on slide one, I'll tap on the video, go to format options, and I'll have slide one play until the seven minute mark. So I'll put 700, just tap off of that, hit return, I'll go to slide two, again, video, format options. I'll have slide two play from the 701 mark all the way to 1327. So I've broken it into two experiences. So I'm going to call this World War II Crash Course Video. Sorry. Crash Course Video. And now what I'm going to do is go to the sharing settings because I want to make sure this is open to any student in my domain. So I'm going to click on the sharing settings. I don't want to share this with individual students. What I'd like to do is go to the shareable link and then do anyone with the link either in my domain or anyone with the link can view. I'm going to open this up. Anyone with the link can view and I will hit done. So that's ready to go. Now let's jump over to Google Drive just to kind of confirm that the file is there and show you the process I might work through here. So I'm just going to go to recent in my Google Drive account, wait for that to load, and I'm going to grab the shareable link. And I could have grabbed this before. Let's grab it right now just to show you how we can get it in Google Drive as well. So there's my crash course video. I'll go to the link sharing option in Google Drive, wait for that to load, and I've already changed the sharing settings, so this is going to be ready to load for me. And I will just copy this link. So that's been copied. Now let's go to the Google Doc where we might have the students working through a guided activity or an exploration in, about World War II. But here's where I could have, um, these could be, oops, I didn't want them up there. So let's do it in the body of the document. I might have some guiding questions. There might be a little bit of structure that I'm providing for the students to work through it. I might have um, ideas that I want them to reflect on, ideas to reflect. So I could have all kinds of stuff here. But here's the great part. On the very top of this, I'm going to put click here to view World War II crash course video. I'm going to highlight that text, go to the linking tool, and insert a link to that set of Google Slides that I just made and hit apply. And now with this update to Google Docs, if I tap on that link, I'll get a drop-down menu with a little preview button. And watch what happens. It drops down into the corner. The student can even expand the view a little bit. So I'll make this a little bit bigger. And what I'm able to do now is watch that video embedded in my Google Doc. I'll simply click on play. Hi, I'm John Green. There this is go. Crash Course US History. And today we're going to talk. Let's turn John down a little bit. So now while I'm watching, notice I can still edit the document itself while the video is playing back. So live edits of my notes. So I'll pause that and maybe catch up. Here is my new idea. Hit play. 
and it just picks right back up where it was. Now, if I'm ready to move on to part two, maybe my teacher has this set up that says slide two, part two, and I can go, oh, I'm ready to advance. I'll advance to slide two, and notice when I click on slide two, wait for this to load, because up to this point, Russians have been... Notice how that picked right up at the seven second mark because that's the setting that I already dropped over into Google Slides when I imported this video. Now, this whole process can also work in Google Slides. I'll show you that process as well. I'll jump to a new set of slides. I already have that link saved to my clipboard, so I'll do the same thing. I'll simply, I'll do it right on this landing page slide. I'll do click to open World War II video, embed the link, it's gonna pop up in the corner as a preview. Now I'm demoing this all with video as the major component because I think that can be so helpful, but this could absolutely just be a set of slides that students might click through as reference material, teaching them a process, something they could refer back to to get a little bit of help, especially when they're working at home or remotely or in a kind of hybrid or blended environment. So I'll do the same thing here just to show you what it looks like. Click here for World War II, not that, that's better, World War II video. Let me clean this up a little bit. Click here. So I'm going to take this text, same process, highlight the text, insert my hyperlink, drop in the link to my slides, which I've already saved, and hit apply. And remember, make those slides open to anyone in your domain. I'll hit World War II video, there's my little preview button, and watch what happens. It just drops into a preview window. So now I can jump to any set of slides that I want, and notice I'm even adding a new slide on the fly, and my preview window stays there. I can make it bigger if I need to. I can shrink this down a little bit smaller if I don't need a ton of real estate, and I can play that video and then work in real time in my slides. Hi, I'm John Green, this is Crash. So I won't know one of the things that is frustrating when you're working in slides with embedded video is if the video is in the slide, as soon as the student goes to take a note, the video resets. But now I have the ability in the slide. So that video is playing live right now. I'm editing the slides. Here are my notes. Put any idea that I want here. Work live in Google, but there John Green is still doing his World War II intro for Crash Course. So that's the process. I hope you found this to be helpful. It's using a link from a set of Google Slides in a Google Doc or in Google Slides to get a preview window where students can watch video live and work in that Google Doc or Google Slides environment. So good luck. I hope this process works out well for you.